The other day I came across something quite interesting. On my travels I happened to come across a jaw harp. Now, this also goes by the name of a jew harp, although no one really knows why. I mean, it's got nothing to do with juice. Judging by the way that this jaw harp was discarded, I could deduce that a certain go boy was given this as a present last Christmas, in fact, by an awesome friend. However, this certain go boy couldn't figure out how this actually worked. He certainly didn't know how to put it in his mouth, and thusly he discarded it and thought of it as a crap present. Well, that's a possibility that I could think of. Anyway, I happen to think that this is actually a pretty awesome gift, and I've always wanted to try one of these. But it didn't come with any instructions, so I had to try and work it out by looking at various online guides and whatnot. And in the end, I managed to get a sound out of it. And it's pretty simple to play once you figure it out. And now I'm going to show you how I managed to work it out, and how I play it. However, the way that I play the Jew harp is not necessarily the correct way of playing the Jew harp. I'll explain more on that later. And you may notice I'll interchange between Jew harp and Jew harp, but they're both the same thing. The first thing you need to do is to hold your Jew harp correctly. So what you do is you take your index finger and your middle finger and you place it upon the frame like so. And you take your thumb and you place it on the other side of the harp and place it along this frame near the, the tongue. So your hand position will be something like this. Okay. The next thing you need to do is to place the jaw harp on your teeth. Now what I tend to do is I tend to cover up my teeth with my lips. And the best way to do that is to cover your, your cover your tongue, your, your teeth with your lips and just kind of make this face. So you can imagine like you were putting on some lipstick. You get that kind of shape of your mouth. Then the next thing to do is to place the arms, the arms of the ju hub on your lips by your teeth. Like so. I'm not sure you can actually see this. But you get the idea, and the idea is to keep it firmly on your lips. So press firmly on it so it's nice and secure. Okay, then all you do is simply twang on the tongue, like so. And this will produce the following sound. And to produce different sounds, you change the shape of your mouth and your tongue and the variations in the shapes in your mouth amplifies the sound to produce different notes. And of course you can breathe in and out to change the sound again. And that is how I managed to figure out how to play a jaw harp. Now I mentioned earlier on that this is the way I play the jaw harp, which doesn't seem to match up with all this the individual guides I've looked at. All the other guides say that you should actually bite onto the arms and then you can just play it. I'll provide the links later on for you to touch and take a look at, but I personally can't get this to work. See? I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's because I got my positioning of my mouth wrong, my teeth wrong, or if this is actually a particularly cheap instrument. So if anyone happens to know why this happens to be the case, then please leave a comment or let me know. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I managed to figure out how to play the jaw hub. And you can learn how to do this too. And whether you do it my way or the correct way or whatever way it works, with enough time and practice, you'll be playing some crazy mad stuff, something like this. Thank <laughs> you.
practicing boys and girls. Ow! My teeth!